What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're gonna be opening up this Bakugan Evolutions Platinum Series Diamond Sectanoid. So, let's get started guys. So today we're gonna be opening up a rare Bakugan. This is the Platinum Series Diamond Sectanoid. It is a Diamond Bakugan, so of course it's gonna be a little rare to find, but it's funny enough that I actually found three of these at the same target. I guess I just got really lucky. I only picked up one, but I kind of want to go pick up uh, maybe another one or maybe the other two because these do have the card, the evil card, and that way I can have a set. Uh, so yeah, maybe I might go back and pick them up, but here it is. It's a diamond Bakugan. He looks very, very strong. I mean, he's flexing. It's the flex bug, basically. This is a true metal Bakugan, so it does have some metal, which is going to look pretty cool. We'll take a look at it up close. We do have the action card which is the evil card we got a uh, character card a gay card and two baku cores let's get started i mean you could see a little preview there but it looks pretty cool already let's let's get started let's open this up yeah this one took a while for me to to actually find because uh, i looked everywhere i could not find this one but out of nowhere you know i couldn't find one and i found three at the same place so yeah that was a little funny that that happened i know there's some people that haven't found this because like i said it's a diamond it's a rare bakugan so it's gonna take a little time to find it you gotta just keep hunting but you'll find it just keep keep looking around um you might find it at target i feel like i find most of my, my the rare bakugan at target so just look at your targets let's open this up and let's take a look at the cards the things that come in here first and then we'll take a look at the Bakugan afterwards. First, the course, we do have a Magic Shield, plus 600B. Not the best Magic Shield. It is, um, I think it's the second best. Plus 650B is the best. We do have plus 300B for this shield. All right, so double shield cores, one of each for this Bakugan. We do have a list. We're going to turn this around so we don't spoil ourselves. We do have a list here, which is probably... It looks like it's the same list still. Yep, looks like the same list. So we're not even going to look at that. You guys can pause, of course, if you want to take a look at that. Uh, we're going to leave the Evo for the end. Character card. And then we have the gate card. So first the gate card, we have this this one here. So it looks like we got gate card number eight in the set. We got a Demorc uh, doing some sort of fighting move on a Shark Tar, which looks pretty cool. I do have this card. I remember... Uh, seeing this one before so it's not a new one but it's a cool one i like it when they have like a lot of stuff going on in those gate cards and now first let's take a look at the character card so let's see the stats of this sectanoid here it is we got ventus platinum sectanoid we got one of each shield uh, regular shield magic shield 100 b power so very very low b power the lowest that you can have uh, I don't think there's been a Bakugan that has zero B-Power. I'm pretty sure there's never going to be one. So this is the lowest B-Power, but it does have seven damage. Now, damage is pretty nice. It's seven, so that's pretty good. But it does have a couple abilities here. So if you land on the Magic Shield, you get the plus core ability. So you get to grab a core from the field and attach it to the Sectanoid. So basically, you'll have two cores. And then if you land on the regular shield, you get the steel ability. So you get to take away your opponent's Bakugan's core, whatever they're holding, and then you attach it to Sectanoid. So you literally steal their core. So you have the option of either uh, grabbing a core from the field if you land on the magic shield, or if you land on the regular shield, you get to steal your opponent's Bakugan's core. So I really like that, that you get those options. There's like different ways to play, uh, different strategies that you can come up with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would be cool if it had a Flame Fist because it does have a lot of damage. But I think it could be nice. Now, we do have the Diamond Evo as well, which is the card that comes in here. So let's take a look at the upgrades. Let's see this Evo. All right, so we got Diamond Platinum Sectanoid here. We got three energy to Evo. Instead of 100 B power, we got 700 B power now. So big boost, which is really, really nice. We do have a seven damage as well, which is that one just stays the same. That one, nothing happens with that. And we have the same abilities. So this is not the best Evo, I would say. The only difference is the plus 600 B power that you get for the three energy. 
I mean, eh, if it had a little bit more damage with, on the Evo, that would be really good because you keep the abilities, which is nice. But for three energy, you're basically just getting 600 B permanent, of course, until it gets destroyed because you only have to pay once and then you have these stats now. I mean, it's not the best evil, but it does look really cool. I mean, just look at that. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's uh, very, very strong. It's the flex bug. What can I say? But um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this diamond evo. Now, before we take a look at this Bakugan, I just got to remind you guys that in the comments of my Bakugan videos, I usually do a Bakugan poll. So you guys can go down in the comments and make sure to vote uh, for which Bakugan you want to see next. If not enough people are voting in the poll, then I might just remove the polls entirely. So make sure you go in the comments and vote. All right, so let's get started. So let's take a look at this Bakugan. All right, so here it is. We got this diamond platinum sectanoid. It is a platinum Bakugan. So the middle part, all this green that you see in the middle is actual metal, which makes the Bakugan a little heavier. But everything else looks like it's that diamond clear plastic, which is awesome. I do like this a lot. I've said it about another diamond, another platinum series, uh, diamond Bakugan in the past that I really like that the metal part is like um, the actual faction color. So this one in this case, because it is a Ventus, um, it's green. And then everything else is clear, like the wings here, even the face here. So I think that's really cool. I think um, it goes well together and it looks really nice. I like this one. Yeah. And it's a diamond. I mean, of course, it's it's really cool. Very, very nice. I think I'm going to go back and see if uh, the other two that I found uh, are still there. Maybe I'll pick them up. We'll see. But yeah, this one looks really cool. I really like all the details all around it. Even on the metal, there's like a bunch of details on the side. You can see right there. Yeah, it just gives it even more depth, I guess you can kind of say. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? I like this diamond for sure. In closing, this is very simple. First, we're going to push this part up. Make sure you hold that. Then on one side, the part that's in the on the bottom in first, then the top part, make sure you hold all of that together. Then on the other side, the bottom part first, and then the top part. And it should lock all together. And there we go. That is how you close this sectanoid. It's a pretty cool Bakugan. The flex bug, of course. Let's roll it onto a core here. And let's see how this opens up. Three, two, one, brawl. Oops. Okay. So maybe I rolled it a little too fast or maybe the magnet is not as great. Uh, but with, but with these, uh, platinum series Bakuguns, if you do roll them too fast, um, as you saw, they can fall over and not pick up the core. And that is because they're heavy. So if you roll them too fast, just because of the weight, it might not pick up the core, but that is this platinum series diamond sectanoid. So that's it for this opening of this Platinum Series Diamond Sectanoid Bakugan. But before we go, we got to open up a Bakugan booster pack. That's right, guys. I'm still going to be opening up booster packs, but I'm going to move them to the end of the video. That way you guys have to watch all the way to the end. Uh, yeah, in this channel, we love the Bakugan TCG. So we're going to open up booster packs. We have a Shields of Astroya booster pack today. I need four cards from this set. So let's see if we pull them. Let's see what we get. We got Crushing Shadows, Hail's Divine, very horrible card. Divine Wall, Weapons of Darkest, Darkest Ion, very nice. Darkest Glare, we got All New Moves, Doom from the Deep, Darkest Power Kick, that's a very powerful kick. We got Prismatic Power Up, which is a pretty nice card. It's a rare, very nice. And then for the character, the epic character card, we have Pegatrix and Gorin Ultra. Okay, and here is the fused side. All right, so that's it for the pack. We did not get any of the cards that I needed to complete the set. But that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Diamond Platinum Sectanoid Bakugan. Like I said, I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely looks cool. And the stats, they're okay. The Evo, eh, eh. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan openings. I got a lot more videos coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.